morning guys and happy new year it's actually nice out today but it's still minus 20 something and of course no horseback riding today and we're not sure if we're gonna go to the barn today or not and look at look at Ruby there <laughs> I made a path around this big snow pile just so she can run and she loves it Ruby run run now you don't want to run. <laughs> now you don't want to run? Are you done? You done running? You're a crazy dog. You're a crazy dog. You're a crazy dog. You're a crazy dog. Loves the snow. If it ever warms up, we'll be going tobogganing and I'll be taking her with us. Take my other dogs and they used to run down the hill with us. Good morning, Wait, guys. Welcome. welcome to a brand new year. Sophia, this is a brand new year. Yeah. And guys, we have a special guest called a bunny. The girls have been playing with their bunnies all morning. And watch. I knew it. Oh, he usually like. It's too bad they couldn't fit two of them together in one of these things. Oh, look at him. He's like, help. <laughs> Can you guys guess what bunny this is? What's your bunny's name, so? Uh, still thinking of one. Come on, he needs a name. Yeah, Happy would be a perfect name happy for your bunny. bunny. What, did you figure out a for sure name for your bunny? Yeah, Taylor. His nickname Shy. I'm thinking about naming him Shy. Look at you guys, I got my own bunny. Isn't he cute? Yes, it's really cute. Don't touch my bunny like that. I can squeeze it. <laughs> Look at my bunny is the gentlest of them all. He never tries to bite. <laughs> God, God. But doesn't he look almost the same? No, he believes he can fly. <laughs> I love when they stretch themselves out like that and just lay down. The girls and I were trying to figure out what we could do to bring the bunnies inside more because we've been talking about it and I don't really want a, a farm bunny that has to stay outside in the cold. Do you? Um, no. I really want an indoor friendly bunny. I really want like an indoor hand raised bunny. I really want a handled indoor bunny that's used to our family. My bunny is younger than Sophie's, but I don't know why. Today he looks so cute. Yeah, so remember Sophie's bunny had bad teeth and was so skinny. Now today he's so fat. He's so fat, he's like bigger than Gabby's bunny now. Oh, there he came. <laughs> he's like, I'll just hop up. Try that. Oh, he winked at me. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, haha, I'm not gonna do it while people are watching. Here he comes. <laughs> so cute. My bunny doesn't want to do Isn't he so cute? Bunny. He's like, hmm, is that a girl? Oh yeah, Gabby, people have been wondering. I told everybody your bunny was a girl, but what is your bunny? He's a boy. Yeah, they're all, bo all they're both boys. boys. Anyway, what we were thinking was that Sophie's room is really huge and we could set up a really fun little area in here for the winter and then maybe use the sunroom for the spring and the fall when the, when, when the weathers are more, when the weather is more tolerable. But basically, if I took all of that stuff and put it over in that corner, I could set that thing, that X pen, up over here and put mats on the ground and make a really nice little indoor area. What do you guys think? Yeah, but the bunnies are not used to it, so like. Yeah, yeah. But the cord The cords. No, we could just make sure the cords stay out. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you think that'd be a better option? I don't know if Sophie would be able to sleep with bunnies in her room. Oh, I can't. If I can't fall asleep, then I'll go grab my bunny and then sleep. And also, I don't know how we would keep the manage the cat out. That would be another issue. We've been working really hard on our channel today, making new videos, and reading a bunch of you guys' comments. We just shot so um, Gabby's new updated barn tour, Schleich barn tour for her channel. And one of you guys suggested that we set up some um, shelves in here for extra Schleich. Wouldn't that be cool? 
So uh, technically this used to be kind of like our school room and we have all these books. But it would be super great if we could take all of those and rehome them and really make this a Schleich room. Would you love that? Yes. Then when you need a Schleich, you could just go up there and pluck one off the shelf. Yeah. My video is up on my channel. Make sure you check it out. It's a Always Gabby. And it's a new updated barn tour. The girls have begged me this morning, please, let's not go anywhere, let's just stay home. And it is January the 1st, and we are gonna stay home. We're gonna start this year out right by relaxing, which means hanging out in the dining room and playing video games for the girls. And Sam and I are busy working, but I love having the opportunity to get a bunch of work done that I've been wanting to do, so it feels really good. But since we're working, I decided that I really wanted to share with you something that happened last week over the Christmas holidays. Um, you guys saw that my niece, Julia, jumped on our horse, rode away like she was been riding her whole entire life, and I was amazed. Well, her older sister, Danielle, also rode our horse. She didn't want to get on. I kind of said, nope, you have to get on. Show your little two little boys how, how amazing it is and show them that they don't have to be afraid. And I was not expecting this to happen. So I'm gonna show you the footage right here, right now, so you can see how different horseback riders in the same family can be. Yeah, yeah see? That's nothing, so grab up your reins. You oh, you have to hold these? Yeah. yeah. That's like this? Guide. Uh, oh, I have to, have to guide her? Yeah. I have to guide her? Yeah, yeah so, for the most part, so just oh, give her a I'll little tiny kick. Little tiny kick. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let her do it. Let her do it. Let her do it, Sophie. She's okay. Move your bum in the middle of the saddle. Just slide it over. She's following me. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I, I Sophie. <laughs> okay. So let go of the saddle. Hold on to these reins. Pull them up. Put your one hand on here and your other hand on here. You want me to keep balance with these? <laughs> This is way harder than driving a car. That's what I mean. She's going backwards. Okay. Okay. Watch the babies. Just turn it that way. I don't know. Push with that other leg. Okay, you're pulling the other way. Okay, one. One sister is in. She feels the fear. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Once you go around one time, you'll feel good. No, 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 I don't think I'm going to. I really don't. <laughs> like, I am. Like... You're good. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on, Sabrina. Come on. It's funny how some people love riding and some people don't. Yeah. I'm one of the times. She, she shook her head. Look at how good she's taking care of you, though. She's like, I'll follow. Follow me. Come on. Come on, Sabrina. That's okay. She's not going to run herself over. Come on. Come on, Sabrina. This is not my sport. Okay, good girl. Where's the stool? No, there's no stool. <laughs> no, you don't get down with the stool. Okay. So you put your foot over and then you lean across here. And when you're leaning across here, you take this foot out and then you just jump down. Like you it. can do it. There you go. Now lean across, take your foot out and slide down. <laughs> when I was a little girl, we used to have a big, huge, uh, fancy dinner on New Year's Day, but not us. We are having a super chill day. The girls are having a super yummy supper. Gabby actually requested this supper. What are you having, Gabby? Nachos and dip. Nachos and cheese dip. We never buy that stuff, but Gabby has been craving it. So me. No, that's okay. Me. It's good together. Mix no, it together. No, I hate that. So Nick's been working all day to make me a Minecraft house. Sophie and me a Minecraft house. Perks of having an older brother. Here it is. This mm -hmm. is the house. And I'll show you inside of it. There's gonna maybe be doors here. This is my room. Um, this is my room. Like, it's 
just done, so I quickly made beds. Here's Sophia. We are using our brother's accounts, and here's her room. So clearly you can see that the girls are obsessed with Minecraft. They spent the whole day, and we allowed them to spend the whole day because we've been editing, and so now there is a video up on Sophie's channel. There's about to be a video up on Gabby's channel. There's about to be another video up on our channel. So much happening today. Comment of the day goes to Katie.Russell over on Instagram. She's been messaging me for the last couple of days and I felt like I needed to share her story. This is her Instagram. Basically, she lives in King County in Washington and there's a deadly virus spreading, um, running rampant there that kills horses. It says they were even in the newspaper at her barn. A deadly virus has killed seven horses at a King County Equestrian Center, but the horse community is stepping up to help. Unfortunately, this is an extremely contagious virus. It you can spread it just from getting it on your boots or on your coat. They were they did not even allow the camera crew inside of the facility. They have to spray down stalls with bleach and disinfect shoes and even car tires as they leave. It's very scary. The owners have been living through a nightmare for over a week now. There have been some loss of life. Seven horses have been put down. The first case was discovered December the 13th. She's not allowed to go to the barn and see the horses. She's stressing out so much. She doesn't even know what horses have gone, what horses have been put down. It's a horrible, horrible thing. And I just want to ask you guys if you can. Wait, does she have a horse there? Um, I'm not sure if she has a horse there or if she rides there. But um, it is super scary. Could you imagine if that virus broke out here and Sabrina was there and we were trapped far away from her and she was stuck there and we could never check on her? It's just a terrible situation. So I just want to um, ask if you guys pray to pray for her, pray for all the horses there. She'd be crying. I'd be crying. I'd be freaking out. But anyway, that is it for today. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow, when we finally get to ride our horse and ride Blue. We've been releasing Blue for two weeks and we've only got to ride him two times. So we are going to spend the day at the barn tomorrow and we'll see you then. Bye. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.